Hey YouTube, Red Reptiles here with another video. I haven't posted a video in a while, so you know, schoolwork. And I'm gonna make a video on my snakes. Um, five rack. I have a rack with five tubs in it, and I have another ball python in there, and a 20 gallon. Um, well, let's get started. And here we, here we go. I'm gonna take out my male albino, Sparky. I hope you guys seen him in other videos. Super friendly, super sweet. I've had him since he was a baby, baby hatchling size. So that's him. He's um has a lot of weight. He's got I mean he's putting on a lot of weight. So I've got him. Super tame. Um he's gonna breed in a couple days to my head albino female, which I will show you in a moment. And that that's it. Now I'm gonna show you my second albino, my female, the one I just showed you was my male. I got her in a recent show, haven't made a pickup video yet. Um, Repticon up in Orlando. I've had her for about like three, four weeks now. She's Hasn't eaten since. I'm gonna start getting her to eat. She's has some nice weight still on her. I'm not worried too much about it. But yep, that's her. And the next snake I'm gonna take out is my head albino female. Um, this is the one that's gonna be mating to my male right here, Sparky. She is big and she has a lot of weight into her. Um, I want to show you guys um a few tips on handling bigger snakes. In later into this video, but first let me show you the snakes. Um, this is her. I don't have a name for her. And by the way, the other albino was named Sunshine. So if you guys want to name her, leave a comment down on down on the bottom and I'll see who the winner is. So this is her. She's big. I mean, she doesn't look too big through the camera, but she's pretty big. And she is awesome. I've had her for like four months now. I mean, I got her recently from a breeder because I wanted to um, have a bigger snake in my collection. And it was also a head albino, which is a good find. So, yep, now that's it. my bumblebee female. She's not an adult or a baby, but she's, like, in her juvenile stage. So, yeah, let's see that. Um, She isn't shed. I'm um, only her head part, as you guys can see. And I'm going to take her off for you right now. And... Let me show you a quick bit because she's on the bottom. She is nice. She will be breeding to my pinstripe that I'll show you in a, another moment. He's in this right there. But she is nice. I mean, she'll be breeding when she's breeding size, obviously. But, yeah, she's nice and very active, too. A very cool snake that I've always had in my collection. And the next one that I cannot be taking out because she just ate yesterday is my baby pastel, which I'm going to get you a nice glimpse through the rack. Um, I will open the tub, but there she is. Um, yeah, that's her. I mean, she's nice, too. I also got her with the albino female. Um, yeah, but that's, that's, that's cool. And last but not least is my pinstripe male that I said I would show. He's super cool and super nice. Whoa, the, his hide just fell off. He's awesome. He's super friendly too. Love his snake so much because of the pattern. Um, yeah, that's him. Let me um, try to unwrap him for you. There we go. He's nice. Yeah, um, like I said in the beginning, I was going to do a snake handling bigger snakes. So here's how it goes. You want to start like grabbing from the tail to show that you're not gonna hurt it, and then you're gonna like hold those caress it in the way like this. Um, they like to have support in the head and in the tail, so you can always hold it like wrap the tail around you and then keep a support on the head. Um, ball pythons are a very docile animal. Um, I'm sure if you're a very reptile enthusiast, you know a lot about that. And this is a, my head albino, like I said in the beginning. She will be breeding to my albino male. Um, she has a unique pattern on the bottom, and she has lots of eights on her pattern right here. So it's one eight, and eights everywhere. She's just a very unique snake. Um, it wasn't that hard to find her, but I really liked her when I saw her because it's a bigger snake one, and then it has albino in it, which I could make... Uh, Good chance of half of my clutch coming out albinos. Um, and if you're a herper, you know the whole entire, or like I said, reptile enthusiast, you know a lot about breeding and stuff like I do. Um, so 
I'm gonna try to get a video of them mating, um, him, her and him, in there, mating. It's gonna happen in a couple days, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna start doing um, snake of the week. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment.